So you may be asking yourself, what is Exile? Exile is a mod for Arma 3 that sets the stage for an event that takes place in the future. The year is 2039 to be exact. Uh, crime rate is up and NATO forces are being forced to react to potential prison overcrowding by exiling criminal offenders. Where they exile them to is dependent upon what map you're playing on or essentially what map the server that you're playing on is hosting. Uh, this could be anything from Altus to Stratus to Noah, Malden, uh, pretty much you name it, whatever the server owner or admin has decided to host on that particular server. It has that traditional Arma feel as far as the mechanics are concerned, but the entire thing has essentially had an overhaul or a facelift as far as the um, menus are concerned, the interactions, and essentially the gameplay itself. If you've had the opportunity to play survival games like uh, Rust or DayZ, uh, it has some elements to it like that, along the lines of crafting things, building bases, um, an in-game economy as far as you know how you make money, sell stuff, buy stuff, things of that nature. While not all servers are the same, you can expect the core elements of the game to be the same or at least very similar across most of the servers. You're going to have your traditional survival elements, such as hunger and thirst. You'll have PvP, you'll have PvE. Some servers gear more toward one direction or the other as far as those are concerned, and some of them have a great blend of both. It just depends on what server you're looking at and what's advertised typically in the title of the server itself. Uh, in either case, you're going to have your in-game economy with your traders and your loot. Uh, loot will be potentially anywhere and everywhere, and in most servers, you have sections or areas that have a higher concentration um, or potentially more rare loot, depending on where it's at. Maybe it's a military base or a special area, or it could be an infected area. It just depends on what the server admins want to do. Additional differences could include things like different kinds of missions, uh, as well as potentially roving AI patrols. Uh, you could have zombies, uh, the servers could have different mod requirements. Some of the servers are very vanilla and basic as far as the uh, mods are concerned. Some of them require uh, pretty large mod files, you know, RHS mods or potentially uh, cup weapons or cup vehicles, things like that. It uh, just depends on the particular server. Which brings me to my next point. You may be asking, what server am I playing on right now, or, or where's this video coming from? Um, I am currently playing on Friendly Player Shooting, uh, their server set, or FriendlyPlayerShooting.com. Uh, this is a UK-based server. It's owned by a guy by the name Cup Lion. That's his handle. That's K-U-P-L-I-O-N. Uh, he happens to be on the Exile development staff, so. If you can imagine, if anybody knows what's going on and how to get into the nitty gritty and fix things, this guy knows what he's doing. He does a really good job of moderating the server, uh, fixing things whenever stuff goes down or breaks, and he's in touch with the guys that pretty much built this thing. So uh, you can't really ask for more than that. Uh, he has a great staff with him, a guy by the name of Rompa Stomp, or Romp, uh, helps moderate everything. There's a really good community between the two servers they host. Uh, one of them is on Tanoa and the other is on Malden. Um, either way, uh, the community between the two of them is a really great community, a uh, great bunch of guys and gals, um, just really foster a good environment for people to come play and kind of a, you know, no judgment zone, if you will. Uh, players of varying levels all the way from, you know, fresh new players and, and Bambies, if you will, all the way up to veteran players. So like I mentioned previously, there are some differences even between the two servers that uh, Friendly Player Shooting hosts. They have a Tanoa server, which tends to lean more toward PvE, uh, with a little PvP in it, and there are some zombies, while the Malden server does not have zombies, and it's more heavily PvP. In either case, both servers have roving AI, missions, supply drops, capture points. Um, they use more of a developed mod pack as far as CUP weapons and vehicles go. Uh, but in either case, like I mentioned previously, the community itself is kind of what makes either server you, you want to join um, a really great environment. Uh, it's friendly competition, but it's always kind of a shake hands and grab a beer after the fight type of group. So really good bunch of guys, great environment, great community. With that being said, I want to take the opportunity to welcome you to Chin Sweater Collective's series on how to exile. 
What's up gamers, this is Cooper with the Chinswater Collective. Thanks for stopping by my corner of YouTube and checking out the channel. This video is one part of a multi-part series I'm covering regarding the Exile mod for Arma 3. Chances are, if you're here, you already know about the Arma series, so I won't get into that. However, you're probably here because you have some questions about some aspect of Exile. The goal with the series is to break down several topics into digestible episodes, since our audience is of varying experience levels. We've decided to break down the sections into somewhat of a how-to or informational format. I hope this helps you to have a better understanding of the Exile mod and, more importantly, answer those what does this mean or how do I questions. The goal will be to release a new episode each week to address a myriad of topics. However, if there's something you'd like to see, please leave a message in the comment section. I'll try to respond with an answer, or if it's something that warrants a video explanation, then I'll make sure to add it in. If you want to stay up to date on the series and new topics as they're brought up, please make sure to hit subscribe. Additionally, I always appreciate your feedback, so if you like what you see, please drop a note in the comments or give the video a like. Thanks again for stopping by.